Extra, extra, Taurus. I know, I'm just itching. I've been allergy itching all day. Read all about it, Taurus. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading, not a horoscope. It's done with oracle cards, not tarot cards. However, there is an extended that is a full tarot card spread, which extends and, and goes into specifics. And it, it, it dives deeper and personalizes this reading and also includes a full romance reading as well. So uh, check that out. Hop on over to the extended. That link is below. Um, there are no dates on this video, right? Um, I stopped putting dates because I realized people don't care about them. <laughs> but I do upload a new Taurus video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, then please do click that link, subscribe. You'll help the channel grow. And you'll also be able to ring that bell so that you get notified when I upload all the newest content. Taurus, stop. There's some energy that wanted to come out. Bam, right there in the middle of the freaking deck. Freedom is yours and nothing is wasted. There is something that just ended, something that is recently over, something like, like freedom. It's almost like happiness and freedom in the weirdest places because this is like treasure in a trash heap. That's what this energy is. Vulture energy is finding treasure in a trash heap. And it's almost like in the shittiest situation, Taurus, you feel so liberated and so free. And I'm telling you right now, you may never be able to go back to normal. This is a sense of really taken by surprise by how your soul is sort of lit up in the joy that you have found. This is also just maybe celebrating the fact that you're finally got out of some place that was like holding on or trying to tackle you or trying to like make you feel oppressed. It's almost like you're finally able to like, yay, go and do what you want to do and be who you want to be and make the most out of yourself. This is a sense of um, scrapping along. Yeah, almost like, almost like being... Oh, because I'm talking to Taurus. Being free and liberated from the constraints and confines of money. And I know it's like, you love money. What the fuck are you talking about? You rule the house of finances. But it's almost like you're finally, you're free. Why? Because you found a way to find the treasure uh, it, that, the, the treasure that's not in the, that's not the treasure in the trash heap. The treasure that's not in the normal places. It's treasure, because this is Aquarius energy. It's the treasure that's in friendship. It's the, to get, the treasure that's in togetherness. It's the treasure that's in, um, in the and not only the treasure, but the freedom that lies in not feeling like you need to always put on the ritz or be the biggest, baddest, boldest. It's like, it's just you're finding such joy in simple and unexpected places. That's not, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. You're also maybe uh, reclaiming or finding friends in the strangest places or reclaiming a friendship that you thought was over. Let's get, oh, and what I see on the bottom of the deck, collaboration. You're definitely coming together with somebody. You, you're finding a way, so people to work with hummingbird energy be here now now this is all about the future this is about like flipped upside down your current situation and circumstance is crazy but it's like you got to find the beauty in the unconventional this is unconventional beauty whatever that means unconventional beauty we're going to leave it on this side because that's where it flipped out unconventional beauty like I said, for you, what is unconventional beauty? Because Taurus is all about glamour. It's all about putting on the Ritz. But you're finding this like unconventional beauty. The, the, like you're seeing beauty in, in, in places, either in places that you never saw before, or you're transforming yourself and figuring out how to feel beautiful in unconventional ways. Maybe through a partnership or a collaboration or a friend is teaching you. This could be like, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a sense of a new friendship, opening your mind, broadening your mind and expanding your definition of success. Time to take, time to heal. Um, no, this is some sort of poison that's been seeping in. Yeah. 
that's what the, that's what this is. This is, this is like five five. A change that you a change um, adds up to ten. Something that has to come out. This could have been venom, venom that was spewed in you, at you, around you. Something in your life. Um, that definitely poisoned things. This is a poison needing to heal. Needing to heal will overcome this. This is your energy. Get through this. This is definitely like maybe you were sick. Maybe people that you loved were sick. Energy of 555. A change. A big change could mean the quarantine. To be honest with you, a huge change. Like you had to change your life to deal with this crisis. And it took a change a, like in a lot of ways, which is a lot of Taurus ways. In that we can't make money, right? The, the hair dye is wearing out. So glamour and money have literally been stopped. So you're trying to, you're having to find different ways to find value. And you are unexpectedly loving it. It's just bringing out the best in you and it's bringing out the best in other people. Giving, sharing. Not earning, but co uh, collaborating, contributing, hard work, working hard to help. Like uh, a new, a new, like it's like working for a new reason. So not necessarily for gain, 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 but to give and to heal and to help. Believe in yourself. This is Virgo energy. It adds up to 12, which is three. Feeling really balanced, planning for the future. That's what this is because Virgos work hard and they schedule out and they commit long term. So this is making sure that you have something for the future, planning for your future. You could have just completely changed how you see your future, what you want to do with your future, future plans, having to completely reconstruct them and like give them a whole new timeline. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is the card that flew out. Yeah, it's like they, it flew out way in the past, right? So this is a sense of literally having everything that you depended on turned upside down. And there wasn't. Suddenly, you, were, you didn't have that bedrock underneath you. Suddenly, you were like building your, your castle on sand. But it's like... Learning how to see the beauty in sandcastle. Life is speeding up. Everything happened really, really quickly. And it forced you into a position, this is more Aquarian energy, of thinking about others. Thinking about, thinking about what can you do, communicating, communicating with people, because this is Gemini energy and Aquarius energy, uh, 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 talking to people, communicating with them, for them, to them for some reason. This is father energy, very patient, very nurturing father, Piscean energy, gentle waiting, surrounding, being around, taking care of the kids, watch and wait. An energy of 53, which adds up, to, adds up to 8, which this was all destiny. To make you stop and look and, and learn. Be here now. About this just sort of unexpected happiness. Be here now. Maybe, you're, maybe, maybe you miss your father. Your father is away from you. He can't be near you right now. Use your mind wisely. Having great ideas. You thought this was impossible. Oh, this could have been a loss of a parent. A sense of um, you thought it was impossible, this would never happen, or you, you never have to do without this person, but now you are. Or a sense of, it doesn't mean that they've died, it just means that they can't be around you. So this is a sense of the impossible happening. Use your mind wisely. And seven plus four equals 11. So awakening. This is like awakening to all the aspects of yourself that ne you never would have tapped into if you hadn't been put into the situation. And this situation was a situation where the awkward and the abnormal 
had to become beautiful to you. But as well, these two cards combined is like, you never thought that this would happen. That, that somebody or this couldn't, like this, this now, like now couldn't be here. This person couldn't be here. Watch and wait. This is really, this is like the art of the unconventional. Watch and wait. He's on the other side. Stop, let me get this right. That's what it is. It's like watch and wait. Be here now is in reverse. I, I think you're impatient, to be honest with you. There's a sense of impatience. There's definitely a sense of, of, of wanting to know. It's even though you're loving this, there you're loving this moment, there is a need to know, well, when is everything going to change back? You're being very patient. Hold on. Hold on. Aha. You never thought you'd be in this situation. That's what this grounding energy is. This is the situation that you honestly never saw yourself in. Where you are now is the situation that you never even imagined because it was so far out of your wheelhouse or your, this is like going in a totally different direction, choosing a different career. Um, maybe because it's like something, something that happened with sickness and obstacles or having to get over a sickness that had to make you see things in a different way, plan farther out, schedule things completely differently, change schedules, readjust, work with people in a different way. This is, this is a sense of everything being up, like total upheaval that enforced you to look for different possibilities. It forced you to look for different, um, in different directions or, or other things that you could do. This has to do with communication, reaching out to people talking, speaking, informing. Maybe in an unconventional way. Though, I mean, what's unconventional these days, right? Like, like TikTok is convention now, right? I love TikTok, it's like my favorite thing, yeah. No, but I'm saying it's like, it's like what is conventional, but could be in unconventional ways having to find out like, yeah, having to reschedule things, having to figure out how to do things online now, um, um, being as malleable as possible, which is not a Taurus trait. It's not uh, bending and flexing and changing is not something that Taurus is like to do being a fixed sign and the fixed earth sign. You are the most stubborn of stubborn. But that's what I said. It's almost like you're learning how to like build on sand instead of bedrock now. This is something to do with like Piscean energy. Piscean energy, Taurus. I don't know if you have something going on with your father. You have a situation or a circumstance where they can't be near you or around you and you thought it would never happen. But it's happening. So it's almost like a foundation, a, fu a fundamental, a foundational element of your life that you never imagined being without is now not available to you. And you're trying to understand things. You're trying to piece things together. I think without that, that energy, that protective energy, without that um, 
sort of structure. Yeah, with, it's like without that structure, you are not the same person. Hold on, I want you to see the cards. You're partnering with people here. You're working in collaboration to get through a really awkward time that's going to take you thinking of others and speaking out, talking to people, maybe even leading people, guiding people. It's almost like, I was going to say growing up, but it's not like that. It's, it's, it's different. It's growing different. There's some sort of time to heal here, some sort of un, unseen poison. This is a toxin. This could be a betrayal. This could be a backstabbing. This is, but this could also be illness. Illness that's sort of like tougher than you thought it was going to be. But you're over, there's overcoming it here. Overcome any obstacle and believe in yourself. Could also be you putting yourself into, if you, if you are ill, putting yourself into somebody else's hands and just, you know, knowing that, yeah, things are changing. It could, if, if your health is compromised, it definitely makes you see things like it may basically makes you readjust your priorities or somebody that you love there. If their health was compromised, it makes you readjust your priorities. I just almost see you becoming like the head of your family. And, and therefore your whole, everything that you have prioritized in the past doesn't make as much sense anymore because it's more about building the structure for others. I need to go into to tarot, full tarot spread. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to go into head into tarot and I'm going to do your full romance reading Taurus. The link for the extended is below. I'll see you guys over there.